Today I'm gonna to show you how to change the oil in your Honda lawnmower. All right, this bad boy we're gonna be changing the oil on is the Honda HRX 217. But most Honda lawnmowers are gonna be changing the oil in a similar fashion or exactly the same fashion. So let's go to the manual and uh, you can find the manual in the description. All you gotta do is click on it. It'll take you to a PDF form. And here it says we need to use SAE 10W30 oil. And on the top there in the maintenance schedule, it says you need to change your oil every 50,000 miles. Whoa, excuse me, I mean 50 hours. All right, now, so the items needed are, well, the SAE W1030 oil. You can use that Honda Genuine Oil if you wanna get ripped off, or you can get the little bit cheaper oil at the auto parts store, which is fine. It's gonna be great. Then you need that oil pan, you got your funnel, and then uh, you want some shop rags because it's gonna get a little bit oily, if you know what I mean, and then you get the cardboard there to be safe because you know you're gonna spill some. So now the first thing you do is you start up your lawnmower and let it run for about five minutes to get that oil nice and warmed up so it will flow out of the engine really well. Okay, next you gotta turn off the fuel line because you don't want the gas leaking all over the place. Now this is also a good time to open up the air filter and clean that sucker out. Look, there's some grass in there and lint. I don't even know what that white stuff is. And you know, bang it out a little bit, a little dusty, look at that. And just replace it when you're done. It's not that big of a deal. It just takes like about a minute. Pop it back in. Okay, now you're gonna go and take the oil cap off. You gotta just twist it, take it off. And this is where the shop rags come in. I always like to get a shop rag underneath that thing so it doesn't drip. That, see right there, that's what I'm talking about. Now, this is always tricky right here. You're gonna be tilting the lawnmower over and get your pan underneath that drain so the oil doesn't leak out onto the floor. But if it does, no big deal. You got the cardboard right there. Then you gotta wait around for five minutes while it all drains out. And once that's over, then you gotta flip it back over. This is where you're gonna make the spill for sure. It's super easy to spill, but it's not a big deal. You got the cardboard there. Then you put your funnel in, start filling it up with the brand new oil. Look how clean that looks. Hmm, beautiful. Now after you put in the oil, you gotta make sure you have the right amount. So, you're gonna get the dipstick and you're gonna push it in there. Now when you put the dipstick in, do not tighten it up when you go to check out the levels. It even says it right there on that photo that's right on the lawnmower. I've seen other people talk about spinning it in there to check the levels, don't do it. Now, let's take a look here. It's hard to see on the camera, but that's where the oil line is. Right? That's why I put that arrow there for you. You want it to be there where it's supposed to be full. So obviously I didn't put enough in. So, you guessed it, back to it. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna put the funnel back in there. And then I'm gonna pour the oil in again, just a little bit more, just so I can get it to that full line. Cause you don't want it to be a little low cause then your engine's gonna suffer. All right, I'm gonna check the oil again with my dipstick. Remember, just put it in and pull it right back out. Take a look. It's hard to see again on the camera, but believe me, that's where that red arrow is. It's nice and full. It's perfect. So now I'm gonna stick it back in there, and this time I'm gonna tighten it up nice and snug. Okay, now you can go ahead and turn your fuel line back on. Now, if you're an environmentally conscious person like me, you're gonna take your oil and you're gonna pour it right back into some kind of bottle so you can return it to the auto parts store. Don't wanna just throw that in the garbage. All right, now this hog is ready to go and you're ready to mow the lawn like a pro. I hope you got everything you wanted out of this video. So if you did, give me a thumbs up and I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. And if you wanna see more videos coming out just like this one or similar, hit that notification bell. Thanks.